mean, you also get to explore the sewers. What the? I was sure I saw torchlight down there. Oh. Okay, just gonna mark all the paths. We also didn't go here. Because, I mean, we're just standing in front of a... I've spotted something. Y yeah. <laughs> of a very ominous stone wall. So let's check this out. Let me just find a rusted ritual dagger covered in blood. That's a little bit disappointing. Anything more? Hmm. Well... I mean, let's also activate the second brazier. That doesn't really do anything. Candles. Hmm. I guess someone did dark rituals down here. And killed someone with four gold. I can't expect it more- oh boy, is there much blood. Um, I guess you are the sculpt here. Just look at this. Here. Bound and blindfold, you are dragged through the darkness. The stench tells you you're in the sewers. Your dwarven captors are silent, but then a skittering, as a blades tapping on stone, your captors stop, unsure. Screams rend the darkness, silence falls, and then that sound again, sticks dancing on stone. You tear the blindfold free, then wish you hadn't. The giant spider looms over you. Its jaws close upon your face. Yeah, what a horrible death. Let's leave. Hmm. Let's loot. You could explore sewers in all three Baldur's Gate games, and there were always cool stuff down there. Plus you're starting a sewer dungeon in BG2. Oh. Maybe exploring sewers is just a game thing. Do we want to go... Ah, we always we have a rule. We always, when in doubt, go left. So let's follow this rule. I don't want to go here. There's all the blood. Oh no, he yeah no, here's the blood. Well, then I'm happy. Yay, blood! Hmm, the heavy door. Dead. Okay, retreat. Nice. Traps which are already activating. Can I pick the lock? This lock can't be picked. Hmm. Um, I mean, how much damage can it deal, right? And I think we actually timed it quite nicely. Can we somehow make them stop? Look out! I see a trap nearby. Ah, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Where'd you go? I think we need to cross with this river. Where to go? Could either go here, which doesn't really help. Now let's just go and cross through this area. I wonder where we can get the key. And I actually don't remember. Ah, damn it, there's a mouse. Okay, Lavender, you go talk to the mouse. Or oh, red. Yeah. Stand still. Huh? If I were the queen of rats, maybe I'd have a best friend who secretly wanted me dead too. Dwarfs have all the fun. Um, okay. I think we might have different definitions of fun, my little rat, but you do you. So, who wants the Dwarven Queen death? I guess lots of people, namely Miles. I mean, beast. Oh, we can actually walk up here. Smart. This armor is so handy. Just the ability to always be able to fly. It's so nice. Anything else? Ah. I wanted a key. 
to wares. Hmm. No key. Go back to the others. Yeah. Okay. Board race doing weird stuff. Hmm. But there wasn't a key. Do we have a key? Is there even a key? Or is it like a mechanism? Come on, see Bill. Have fun once again. Do we see anything? Do we have to pull the torch? No. I think he's also nothing interesting. Uh, maybe we can just bypass it. Oh, but I think it's too far away. It's not. Who <laughs> needs keys? If you can fly. Which is actually true for quite quite some areas in this game. Crates. I've spotted something. Crates of death or hmm. Oh, I think this is one of the things you can lockpick. Like my favorite things to lockpick are those things where you're like, why? Why can't I lockpick them? Here we go. <laughs> And yeah, with your thieves tools you magic create this very fitting stone brick. Have fun! We just continue here, I think so. And then we will do this party later. Right. It's also stuff. I mean, we didn't go there yet, but still, just to keep in mind. Yeah. Bill. Yes, she is again. Okay. Let's follow the trail of Death Fork. Usually, isn't anything dangerous down here, right? There's so much death fog. I mean, also just compare it to everything that um, how was the ship called we were on in the beginning? I forgot it. You know which ship, the one we were on in the beginning. There were just like a few crates and was like flooding the whole ship. A guard rushes in front of you, mm, and before I... you can flinch, the point of a sharp spear draws a bead of blood from the artery in your neck. Hmm. Halt! State your name! Now! I think this is going to be very important for a beast. Marcus! Or Marcus. Guard, lower your spear. An old friend's come to pay a visit. I don't know about that. Isbeel, we must not... I'm well aware of the beast's ambitions, your highness. I still wonder, we don't know why Marcus calls himself beast, right? I think he told us. I think it was like some vengeance stuff about the island he was uh, abandoned on with his comrades. Do as she says. Lower your spear. It's also interesting that Justinia seems to be way more vengeful than Ispiel, servant of the Gold King. Yes, of course, my queen. Mm -hmm. I'm watching you. One misstep and I will have your head. Yeah, try it. Try me. Okay. This looks like lots of loot we can actually gather. This most sensitive hour. And also, let's see if <laughs> we can somehow sure redeem Justinia. <laughs> your not. Highness, Bloom of Duna, Flame of the Forge, I present your bastard cousin and the seed of divinity, Marcus Miles. Marcus is dead. I am the beast of the sea. And you will address me as such. 
The queen opens her mouth as if to speak, but Beast cuts her off with an ominous growl. I know your deceit, Justinia. I may be Beast, but I'm no demon. And only a demon could dream up an evil like Operation Downfall. He's kind of right about that, though. Flooding a whole city with death fog? Isbel intrudes before the queen can speak. Your Majesty's brilliance has known no bounds. The Order has living tools of war. My queen must attack before they can invade the homeland. Justinia turns to Isbel, looking for assurance. Oh, and boy. Isbel begins to chuckle. Her laugh is low and measured at first, but grows in magnitude until she can barely breathe. Justinia, you're the queen. You shouldn't look for reassurance. Oh, but you think yourself so clever, don't you, beastie boy? <laughs> Fine. I'm tired of pretending I serve this weak wench anyway, but it doesn't matter. Hmm. You can't stop the death fog. The wheels are in motion. That was way easier to get her to reveal her intentions than I thought. Way quicker. Isbeel? Shut your royal maw, Justinia. Arcs will fall and your memory writ. They will believe it was your will, your plan, your command. Yeah, who would have thought, Justinia? Isbeel, hush yourself. I must think. <laughs> hush? <laughs> you pitiful woman. Do you truly expect me to be silent? And... <laughs> yeah. It has quite some power move. To the cold gaze of a thousand stones, and the hot gaze of the dwarf Ismail, right hand of the queen. I mean, despite all our armor to get us all to sleep and to be stunned, it's quite powerful. Oh, good. You're awake. Yeah, I don't like where this is going. Yeah, at first I figured I'd just kill you, but then I thought, Isbeel, <laughs> you're wasting an opportunity here. And also, I mean, we were sun sleeping for a while. If she wanted to kill us, she would have been able to. The big question is, what happened to Justinia? And also interesting, all the guards are now undisguised black ring people. With a knight, flame bringer, limp chopper. Don't bother thanking me just yet, though. I dare say you'll be begging to die before long. <laughs> so I'll start with lesser toxins, just to see how you react, and take it from there. Mm. You're a very charming person. How strong a dose can a godwoken handle? How long does it take for one to succumb? <laughs> so many questions. Benigo was right. Experience truly horrible. Interesting that two of our characters are not in dialogue, but they're also stunned and unconscious. What did you do with Queen Justinia? Your lips open, but no words spill hmm. forth. You try to lift your head, but it is no match for gravity. She has paralyzed you. Only your eyes are free to move. How did she even do that? With just one simple spell? All of us. Ah, uh -uh, don't fight it. You'll only make things worse. But I mean, at least she doesn't seem to be undead, right? Oh, so but far. I've been so rude. You should know the real me. Oh, she's now showing us her true colors. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good to give myself a rest. Those masks can be darned pesky. I do wonder, why do all people who serve the God King turn undead? Or did she just die before and was brought back as an undead? Hmm. Elevender summons as much source from it within as he can. Maybe he can break free. Every ounce of energy within you evaporates. You have no more control over your own source than you do of your flaccid body. Isbel shakes her head at you. Tut, tut. 
Do try to relax. The harder you fight, the harder the experiment will be on you. Yes. Can you please move? Hmm. Huh. That dose proves quite alarming for my normal subject. Let's try a new approach, shall we? And once more, Lavender struggles against the horror of his paralysis. The attempt is futile. Every inch of your body is useless, though your senses still register every sight, sound, and smell. Let's see now. Uh, I have just the thing. Just a spritz, mind you. Hey, at least Fane is happy. You struggle to move, and you feel your toes wiggle, and your fingers twitch. The paralysis is waning. Hmm, interesting. Some of the results are quite unexpected. You're not even writing anything down. You're not a scientist. Ah, let's move on to death fog. Live or die, you've already proven most... Well, I was going to say useful, but perhaps entertaining is the better word. His bale turns the vapor, but no fog wafts forth. In that moment, you feel your bones and muscles awaken. You've regained control of your body at last. What? What's wrong with it? God! God! Spirits. The guard woke is broken free of my spell! Okay. And since we can use that time, and we will use that time. Uh, fire. And here. And boom. I've got to get out. So far, at least we don't see the death fog. But I think we really should get out of this mess. Oh gosh. Yay. Curse poison. Wow, they already broke. Losers, full magic armor. Over 1000 points of damage. Should we check for oh boy, they do have quite some armor. Let's go for this guy here. He does not. Here we go. And take us round. Looking nice. Ah, it would have been nice if we could just like push them in. Where's the shot action? I guess you're all undead, so putting you into the fire, uh, into the poison, is not interesting unless we turn into fire. Here we go. Ah, come on. I'm not. Um, I, I want us to get out of there as quickly as we can. Is out of sight. Seriously? Oh, well. Miss Beale, let's swap with you. Uh, throw another one also down there. You. Here. Our characters it would be hard to get out, for example, Lavender or Ifan. Uh, do we have like never swap scrolls? I don't think so. Nope. We really don't have many scrolls in general. At least not as many as I would like to. Troll. You know, of course, they are all undead. But hey, you also don't like healing. Hey, global healing. Uh, cooling. Global healing. Neat. 
I think now it's exploding. Oh, no. Just blinded. Which is bad enough. That means I can't get Lois out of here. Too much armor. Go far side and power. Uh, I really want to ignite this stuff. But currently, it would be a bad idea. I know. I also really don't like that we're all standing so close to each other. Hey, this is getting ignited. Okay, Fane, you also oh, should get out of there. But I don't know how. Uh, there's no ladder or anything, is there? Damn it. Um, I can't even target anyone. This also targets beasts. Beasts. Just beast. This time it's multiple beasts. I go for you. I think if I could target this one, it should work out. More? Seriously? Nope. I think this is just not possible. You just have to be precise. Neat. Uh, here. So, so close is not going down. This one at least seems to be quite down. This one. Resist the death or not. I hate that they all can just teleport themselves. Not fun. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I would love to teleport someone else, but I can't. Let's hope this helps. Huh? Yeah, some of them. We take it. Not like we have a choice. On his face. How did she completely regenerate herself? What the heck? Gosh. With her vampire trait, she completely regenerated. It's insane. Go. to hear some more, but I don't think I can. Oh boy. Mm. Let's see ourselves. I think that's smart. But let's see how long. It actually helps. Uh, here we go. Come on. And... Now this one should fall on its turn because they're regenerating. The vampire's really nasty. I don't know why since those random effects actually were that powerful. Look at that. Look at how much they regenerate. 50%! It's like level 10 necromancy. So we have to be really careful about what to select. Ah, how much is necrophile deal? Not enough. Let me go here. Can we rush? Can. I think we really need to single out uh, targets because otherwise they just keep on regenerating. Here we go. 
Ah, is that enough for you? Depends on how bad the poisoning is. And I'm still blind. Over here. I don't use it like this. And she gets up, I guess. to do. Shackles of Fain is not good. Probably is going to lead to a dead Fain. Key a healing ritual. You're still not dead. Pulling. I think we're just going to save this fail for last. I still can't teleport anyone up. I'll just give Lois some medical armor. Just to increase her chances. Could have also used our came to stitch, but hey. I'm here. I saw it worked! Here we go. And... Magical armor for me. Here we go. Yeah. Physical. That physical armor. Over 10,000. I mean, good thing it's just physical. Goodbye. I don't really see any means to remove the shackles of pain. But I mean, we do have some magical armor. Fingers down, fingers down. Okay. Yeah, we can't use that tentacle whip. Let's recharge the tentacle whip. I think that's worth it actually. Here. Teleporting again. Ah, and behind a pillar, that's me. She's the last enemy remaining, right? Don't want to be able to hit her. Who's next? Lavender. I don't know if Lavender's able to deal enough damage. Just out of sight. But I can target you. Not outside of sight enough. Here we go, come on. What? 3 HP? Seriously? And let's... Oh wow! Did you see that? We had exclamation marks on our hats, and they just vanished in not even a minute. What the heck? They even have a mod to... Ah, oh, there we are again. Okay. I just wanted to say, they even have a mod 
to ensure that you get like more time. Please, game, give me my character. <laughs> That's also new, right? We usually don't have this issue. Okay. Here we go. And the estimation mark is gone. So, here we are again. That's a little bit exhausting. I mean, how long did we have time? Like a minute? I'm sorry that I wanted to resurrect everyone. Also, I was thinking like... Maybe they also have something to say? Oh well. Hmm. I guess. That's loot. It was such a short amount of time. <laughs> I want to know what you wanted to talk about. Hmm. I gotta say, Ispiel's, I think, also someone worthy of getting their soul actually drains. Ispiel's key. I think we can look for the queen. Belt of Virtue. Might be nice for... Yeah, let's take it. Might be nice for Losa. Of course, of the leadership. Is it boots? Nope. Uh... Oh yeah, let's go. So much more armor. Ispail's research journal. Subject, human male. Formulation, DF12. I guess DF12. Observations, expected results. Subject, door female. Formulation, DF12. Observations, expected results. Subject, human female sorcerer. DF13. Observations, unusual. Subject resisted initial muscular petrification and lung atrophy and lived seven minutes beyond typical expectancy. Post test dissection revealed most brain matter still largely healthy. Hypothesis. Sorcerers possess greater resistance to death fog, and God welcome may be even more resilient. I mean we can survive like one turn. Not seven minutes. What the heck? Do you think Arx is safe in my death? I faced the grave before, you know. Get through the God King. I have eternal life. Where's the Queen? You've such a soft spot for that woman. Do you really think she didn't know exactly what releasing death fog into arcs would mean? Don't be Good fooled. point, actually. I may have planted the seed, but she gleefully tended to it. My entourage is taking good care of her, I promise. Well, as good as you would expect. If she's missing a few digits or bearing a few new bruises, that's just expected wear and tear. Ah, uh, she's so horrible. Get to the bottom of this death fork game. What is the Black Ring's endgame? The Master's purpose is his own to speak, not mine. Oh, the God King keeps secrets from you. Disappointing. <laughs> You're good with words, so sincere. I almost believed you. But it's a success. Let's pretend I fell for your little persuasion game. I'll tell you the Black Ring's plans on one condition. You release the Death Fog. You bring my mission to an end. Do you really think I would do that? I'll consider it, if your story is interesting enough. The spirit pauses, then not. So... What does the Black Ring hope to accomplish by fogging arcs? Well, I guess killing most of the population, right? The God King feeds on war, on death, on disease. On the rich source the living ones carried within them, knowingly or not. I think this clear by now. Mm, so like reaping the souls. The Death Fog was not just a murder bomb, but a tool. 
A tool for sowing discord. A tool for pitting the Order against the Dwarven Kingdom. A tool for ridding us of those who would see us fail. Every race, every creed, and every claimant to the title of Divine. Just way more death. Isbel's voice rises, and her fists tighten. You presume she'd have gone red with fury, were she not wholly translucent. And I mean, she's just so cruel that she wants that, I guess. I lived for that day, Godwoken. The flesh of every magister melted like butter in the sun. The paladin's eyes bugged out in horror as they watched their spouses and children choke on the death fog, clogging their lungs. There would be screams first. Then silence. Deeply unsettling. Your anger. There's something behind it, but what? I do wonder. The spirit's eyes and mouth narrow. In her silence, the noise of splashing sewer water bounces from the stony walls and into your ears. I would guess that also something bad happened in her past. And made her so twisted. I don't know. And Lavender decides to encourage her anger. Yufri is righteous. This is the way of the God King. I don't think know if this is going to work. She knows that we're not a servant of the God King. Huh. You have lit Isbale's fire. She is a bomb, a banshee, an erupting volcano. You couldn't know! You weren't there! When the portal opened and the death fog poured in, you weren't there! To see their skin burst, to see the blood bubbles foam from their mouths. Portal opened? Have you ever felt your own saliva sizzle? Have you ever felt your own brain pressing against the inside of your skull? I have. I have felt it. That agony was the doing of the divine. For his order to suffer the same fate is not punishment enough! Thanks. So, Lucian... I mean, why would you lie, right? So Lucian not only used their fog against almost the entire elven people, but also against the dwarves. Great, Lucian. In death, I was... I was given a chance. I made a decision. One that I have never regretted. Mm, and the God King used that to turn her to his side. And I mean, she's so twisted and enjoys torturing so much that this is one of the times where Fane is consuming the souls. Uses anything, but oh boy, what a horrible thing Lucian did. Not once, but how many times? And this also looks like a lot of death fog on top of everything else. Hmm. So many exits. Oh, secret things. Okay. We have to take care of the death fog. But the question is, how? The great machine sits before you. Pipework tentacles outwards and upwards. The conduits piercing the ground overhead, wending their way towards the city and her people above. Even through the seals of the great cistern, you sent the acrid sting of the death fog inside. Eleven inspects the device further. It is time to deal with the death fog once and for all. A faint gossamer of death fog rises from a junction where the release valve meets a pipe. A switch allows redirection to a different pipe labeled C. The junction currently leads to a pipe labeled Arx. I mean, putting it all into the C also sounds pretty dangerous, but better than keeping it here, I'd say. Destroy this thing. There's no time to waste. I don't trust that leak. 
I say flip the switch, send the Death Fog to the water, away from the city. Redirect the Death Fog. Better to poison the fishes than to poison the people. That other pipe leads to the sea. Redirect the flow. It will minimize the harm. And they all think the same. The only way to keep Ark safe is to smash this thing to pieces. Do it. Yeah. You... Yeah, you have two options. You can either send it to the sea or you can send it to Arx. If you send it to Arx... I tried that out once. At least the whole city dead. Almost everyone is dead. The music changes in the city. The whole atmosphere changes. And at least Fane, uh, at least Ifan and Beast leave you immediately. Which makes sense. And obviously we are diverting it to the sea. We try smashing that thing that leaves is only gonna get worse. Let that switch divert the flow to the sea. The machine creaks to life, and the death fog begins to flow through the other pipe. You hear the howl of the fog as it travels the pipe towards the sea, and the machine winds down. The system is empty. All is silent. And it is insane how close this whole city was to being eradicated. You've added two chronicles. Spirit of Sorcerer. Can we go through here? Come on, Seville. I've spotted something. Ah. Hmm. Can we open this? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well, we can. It doesn't help us. Twisted and torn in her heart and her mind, the spirit emits an unbearable desire for it all to be over, for good and forever. Mm. It has granted her that. But as oblivion beckons, oh. she changes her mind. She reaches out and desperately clings on to existence. Oh no, can we still back away? And then, she is gone. Oh. I'm sorry, I tried to help you. Uh, well... Oh, there's quite some sources down here. So the people is bail killed. Oh boy. Hmm, and there's Queen Justinia. Here. Patiently waiting behind the door. 